on the way to me. Our lead, basically. Paula. Our only lead. Our only lead. So uh, this is uh, a pre she's precious to me. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, when they use things to sell, like, the adverts for England, they're like, the Queen, Hugh Grant. Um, <laughs> Hugh Grant, the, the Crumpets, Tea. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it, tea biscuits, well, Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is the reality. This is actually yeah. England, isn't it? It's like chucking down rain. Are you ready? Thanks, sugar. Cheers. Salt? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the crew here? Yeah. Hello. Hi. It's my Who puts wet umbrellas on your chairs? What kind of home etiquette is this? Me. <laughs> Paula? Yes. How are you? Nice to meet oh, you. Hi, nice I'm to Julie. meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you, hi. Uber. So we'll take you from all the way from the beginning. Mm -hmm. It does get a little bit crazy, so bear with us. Okay, no worries. Um, we've got a really lovely friend called Emma. Yeah. She um, has been speaking to someone online called Harlan for about a year. We found out that the guy that she had been talking to was actually a catfish. Mm -hmm. um, because we got in contact with this gentleman. That's Philip. Philip. Yeah, Philip. Okay. It's Philip. Yeah. Not Harlan. Not no. Same guy, different name. That's interesting. So it was on a dating app. Um, very charming. Um, what was a little bit weird, he deleted his account straight away on this dating app. And then he didn't take long before he told me he loved me. And I'm like, Ooh. yeah. Okay. This is in within two weeks. Out of nowhere. Yeah. Two yeah. weeks. Yeah. I tried to ask him about, let's have FaceTime. Because yeah. then, because I had a little bit of a niggle and a bit of a doubt, but there'd always be an excuse. So that's when I kind of cut all sort of contact. Did you go back on dating apps after, and did by chance you happen to see him on there again? Yeah. Oh. And same name? Yes. Okay. Different, uh, different area. Okay. Yeah. Did he ask you for anything? No. You seem like you've definitely got a lot of closure around the situation, you were able to cut it off and move on. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what we're trying to do for Emma, really. So yeah. thank you once again for helping us out. Good luck. <laughs> thank you thank so you much, Paula. It's been a pleasure. No worries. Good luck. Thank you, my love. Bye. What is our next step? We've just met our only lead. Yeah. We have got a catfish. There's no arguments there. The thing that was always unique about Emma's story was the fact that she had spoken to the guy on the phone. And I don't, I believe Emma. How would he have had a video call with her? Who? Harlan, aka Philip. Something doesn't add up, Jules. Definitely. We've got an email. From who? It's from Ben. I've had another lady get in touch that also thought she was talking to me and she wanted me to forward this email on to you. It's not even in English. Ich habe gehört, die Untersuchung. Can you actually read German? Yeah, I can, but this. <laughs> What's happening? Right, okay, this, this is actually massive. So, this is someone else who's been speaking to him. Who? The catfish. And they've sent him 2,000 euros. Like, that's like proper money. She's literally saying that he's properly a fraud. We've got to catch him soon, or he's going to keep on doing this to people. We're not dealing with a catfish, Jules. We're dealing with a criminal. Paula or Emma are just like the next people on this guy's list. It's going to have done this loads of times. There's yeah. going to be more information out there. We've got Philip. We've got Philip. We've got Harlan. Yeah. All right, so I'm on Harlan hashtag, and there's a lot of posts, so like, get comfortable, because this is going to take a while, guys. Let's try searching Harlan plus scam. Oops! Oops! Oh my gosh. It's fake. It's a Nigerian scammer. Never ever send anything to this man. It's always a scam. You're not speaking to. This is unbelievable. It's just a criminal, just a criminal on a laptop, they've said. 
And this is bigger than anything, any story that we thought we were getting on. This is somebody who is genuinely stealing thousands of euros from actually just loads of people like Emma, loads of vulnerable people. We can't do this alone, but I know a guy who is an expert in fraud, things like that. Just let, let him help us decipher exactly what it is that's happening. Neve, please, <laughs> we should do a swap. This is so insane. This is actually crazy. Guys, let's go now. Let's go, let's go. I feel like, Booba, we might have a catfish first on our hands. Who would have thought that we would find something crazier than the American? Now we're meeting an anti-fraud specialist to try and unpick what looks like something serious. OK, right, let's do it. How are you doing, mate? Hi, how are you? How are you? I'm Julie. Hello, Julie. It's I'm Nick. To nice to meet you. you. you know, do you want to come and sit down? Yeah. We met a really lovely girl called Emma, and the relationship she formed was with a guy called Harlan. He's messaging her morning, afternoon, and night right. for about a year. And then she gets in contact with us because there's just radio silence. We, we spent hours searching pictures that she had of him. Then eventually we found the guy. Well done, and, you guys. Uh, <laughs> it was a completely different guy. A guy uh, called Ben. Ben, who we ended up speaking to on the phone said that he's right. not doing any of this stuff that this Harlan person is doing. We then got an email from uh, somebody in Germany who ended up handing over 2,000 euros. And feels like they've been cheated and conned, essentially. And then we did more digging and we got endless results. Literally just saying, do not speak to this guy. He is a scammer from Nigeria. We're now kind of getting into territory, totally. which is not what I expected on this At show. At all, yeah. Uh, none of this it is a surprise. It is romance fraud. 2019, right. about 6,000 reports across the UK of romance fraud. £68 million pounds lost. What? what? Averaging about £18,000 per victim. £68 million. Pounds. Of people sending money? This is big money. This is their job. Their job is to exploit vulnerable people. These are the lowest of low, because they play with their fair the heart. 